Oh, what's up, Kevin? Man, How you man, doing? I got a, I got another situation on my hands. Do here. you, man? Yep. You missed the situation, huh? <laughs> yeah, it turns out uh, blackjack didn't work out very well. Oh, me. blackjack? Man, I thought you got that out cold, down, packed last week when we was at the play. Oh, yeah, I, I, I won a lot of money, but then uh, I lost it. Oh, man, you got to know when to hold and know when to fold. But listen, man, I got a way for you where everything going to work out, man. I know a way that can get you so much money with these cars that you just going to have money to buy them. Money to buy them. Money to buy them. See this, man? Stacks on stacks whenever you want it. Well, that's good because uh, management's very upset. That's all right. I'm going to show you how, man. So I got this little trick, right? I'm going to ask you to pick a car, and I bet you any amount of money you want to bet, 5000 10000 20000 I can tell you what car you pick. Check it out. Welcome to the Palladium Institute's lesson on how to perform Is This Your Card? Let's take a look and deconstruct the trick. First, Kevin selects a card without Sean seeing it. Once he's picked a card, Sean shuffles the deck. The deck is then split, and Kevin places his card on top of the split deck. Sean looks at the bottom card of the top split. He then places the two halves back together. Sean then goes through the deck and locates Kevin's card first. Already knowing what his card is, he gives Kevin the deck to shuffle. Kevin gives the deck back, and Sean looks through the deck, finds Kevin's card, and puts it in front of the deck somewhere specific within the first 16 cards. He then deals out four stacks of cards and asks Kevin to select two of the piles. Those two piles are either kept or eliminated based on where the target card is. This process continues until the last cards are eliminated, leaving only Kevin's chosen card. And I know a way that can get you so much money with these cards that you're just gonna have money to buy, money to buy. Money to buy.